I think she senses uh, Elton's, Reggie's difference. Um, I don't know how early on she really puts two and two together, but she knows that he's sensitive and, and hugely musically talented from a very young age, apparently. Um, and which I didn't know before I read the script was that he trained as a classical musician um, and could have gone in that direction, apparently. He was um, really very, very good pianist. Well, he obviously is a good pianist. I don't think she saw superstardom. I think she just saw real talent that needed to be nurtured, not the fame and celebrity that wouldn't have entered her mind, I think. It's a lovely script and it's very real and the beginning of the story is the domestic life before you move into the music really and that struck me as being very real and touching and, um, and very nice to play. I'm also always terribly impressed by child actors. They're so wonderfully unselfconscious and not sh frightened or nervous. Or, and the young boy is very natural and real and lovely. And uh, um, Kit, who's the middle boy, is um, obviously hugely talented and um, very nice to work with. And Taryn is fantastic, has a fantastic voice, which I think has surprised people because He's a fairly young actor, you know, we haven't seen all his cards yet. So it's a very exciting performance emerging. Some of the clothes are absolutely outrageous. And again, I think the costume designer has been brilliant, really, because he hasn't just copied what Elton's worn. He's created an image for Taryn that's similar to Elton. We all met up in Air Studios. Well, that was exciting for a start. Uh, and then we went to Abbey Road. Um, so that made you feel like a pop star. <laughs> and, um, and worked on the songs with the musical director. Um, and laid down tracks. That was very impressive for me to tell my friends. I've been laying down tracks for the Elton film. <laughs> so when it actually came to do the scene, we were miming to, or singing, you know, to our own track. I knew Dexter as a child actor, well, a boy actor. We were in the Royal Shakespeare Company together when he was about 14 or 15, and he was a sort of cheeky chappy then. And he hasn't essentially changed. He's very straight and fun and energetic and enthusiastic and a perfect person to lead this company, which is essentially, although it goes through some black periods of Elton's life, it's essentially a joyous occasion.